After weeks and months of ups and downs, I was taking matters into my own hands. Little did I know that phrase, taking matters into my own hands, would mean much more, much sooner. I'm not even really sure what I'm getting myself into, but where we're going. So, here we go. Happy first of the month. Hello, welcome back to my channel. We're just gonna hop right in here. This month, I thought it would be really good for me, honestly, in my sanity, to have something little each day that I could complete and therefore kind of fulfill me and give me a little bit more of a sense of purpose and contribute a little bit to my daily happiness. I went on Pinterest and I saw this infographic and it's really, really cute. I'll put it right here. So that is what we're doing. We're doing the monthly happiness challenge. Today is the first day of the month. I'm wearing a hat inside. This hair, it's fine. The first task is to clean the bed sheet. So that is what we are going to do. Alrighty. Hello. Okay, actually though, before we get this little switcheroo going, why don't you guys take a second to scroll down to the bottom of this video in the comment section and let me know what you're excited about for this month. I am excited because I am going to be moving back to College Station at the end of this month. I'll be a first year grad student at the end of the summer. So really excited to be back. Alrighty, that was a super simple task that we did for the first day and I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's the second day and today's task is to listen to music from your younger years. I actually went ahead and went on a walk with my dog, listened to this perfect Spotify playlist that I made. Late 2000s songs, throwback classic songs, Disney sing-alongs, just classic ones that everyone knows. So yeah, go check out that Spotify playlist. That's what I'm listening to all throughout the day. All right guys, it is May 3rd and the happiness challenge is to meditate. I've tried meditating before, but it's not something that I do all the time. So I'm excited to dip into this one and try it out for today. I'm doing, I just went on Spotify and literally search meditation. So I'm doing guided meditation for anxiety. It's 15 minutes and I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me doing my meditation right here on my bed. <laughs> to be fair, I really wanted to use this challenge as a guide to encourage me to try different things that would make me happy, make me feel like I had a purpose throughout each day, each week, and thus throughout the month. Although I definitely modified as I saw fit. So guys, it's the 4th. Happy May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Um, today's happiness challenge is to buy yourself flowers, which honestly, I have never bought myself live flowers, so this was a first. I don't find myself like to be like a huge lover of flowers, but I just picked these because they were pretty. It was between these and some other peach ones, which had baby baby's breath in them, and I just realized that these don't, which is sad, but I love baby's breath. But these are really good. I also really like hydrangeas. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll get into flowers. These are just so happy and I thought they were so springy, so I'm gonna put these in a vase. Aw, how cute! Guys, I think like I'm getting more into plants this quarantine. I was literally just telling my friend this. I'm getting more into plants because like I'm not a plant girl. Like I have no plants anywhere and I'm just... I feel like I just want to take care of these. I mean, I know they're gonna, I know they won't last forever, but they're cute right now. I want to, I want to be selfish and put them in my room, but they look so cute right there. This is the finished product. They're adorable and I love them and I'm really happy. They're only $5. That's why I always see those tweets that are like, only $5 to make your girl the happiest girl ever, or whatever. Only $5 to treat your girl, which is, I mean, I guess it's true, but. I am my girl, you know what I mean? Treat yourself is what I'm saying. Look how cute, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> and today's happiness challenge is to try something new. So I decided to try Snap Kitchen. I don't know that much about it. I only know about it because my friend recommended it to me and I realized that there was one in my area. So I thought it'd be perfect to try it for this segment of the video. So it came in this little paper bag and I just got one meal and I got the chicken butternut macaroni. It said it was a bestseller on the website. So I was like, why not? I think I'm also gonna make a side with kale to eat with this, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what I was doing for today's happiness challenge. Today is May 8th. I'm supposed to be doing something creative. I've been editing this video for you guys. Um, this is one of those videos that is really big and I'm gonna have a lot of clips. It just like streamlines the process to kind of edit as I go along. So I have my Premiere Pro open. That is what I edit my videos on full, but that's the creative thing that I'm doing today. I love 
putting together big videos like this for you guys. It's just so satisfying to me to like figure out how to make it all go cohesively. I made my coffee. That's what we're doing today and every other day until this video is done. <laughs> Proof that I'm actually doing it. Here's a sneak peek. I loved that I saw this as part of the challenge. So that's my little tip for today, and I'll see you guys here. Love it. What's up, guys? So I currently am working on making this Pinterest board. There are like phases in my life, seasons in my life that I genuinely forget how much I love Pinterest and how much it has motivated me to make certain decisions or like have certain intentions in life and has in a way like brought me to some of the things that I've accomplished. Study abroad was a big one for me because I was like oh look at all these places there are in the world like why don't I take advantage of that or like video ideas like I see creative things and I, it gets my like creative juices flowing so there's just so many benefits to Pinterest and I really think that there are ideas on here for everyone. Like, honestly girl if you're not on Pinterest like get on it there's all kinds of things for all kinds of people. Um, I would love to do a Pinterest video if y'all are um, want some more inspiration on things that I pin and how I do stuff and things like that but really it's just like whatever I feel like and it's very like mood based. I have hairstyles, dream home, home away from home, I have several style and like clothing boards, I have one for gifts, I have one just that are more like artsy, more things that like I want to recreate for Instagram, all kinds of things like you guys don't even know. It's really underrated and I don't know I feel like a I don't know enough people that are, like are raving about Pinterest, so I loved that I saw this as part of the challenge. So that's my little tidbit for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Each week on my Instagram story, I've started doing these things called camera roll crumbs where I share little moments, kind of like the ones in this video. They're more raw every day and sometimes even as mundane as freshening up your makeup brushes or as exciting as getting your diploma in the mail. Okay, so I guess I'm about to try out Chloe Ting's first workout for the two week shred. I'd seen so many people around this time talking about these workouts and I thought it'd be perfect to try them myself. This particular week, I was keen on keeping some sort of routine I had going, finding some way to move and sweat throughout the day, and trying my hand at new recipes I'd always wanted to make but never took the time, and eventually resolving back to my go-to meals. <laughs> I knew I'd be moving by the end of the month, so it became a priority of mine to do little things throughout to make the process smoother. I'm usually pretty high maintenance when I move, so the little preps make all the difference. The month as a whole really allowed me to take in those little things even more than usual. I realized this could be the last time I lived at home like this. I think the past few months of 2020 have shown us all our actual scope of control, so Who's to say what the plans for my life look like even next week, much less next year when I'm done with school? This has really helped me let go of things that I simply cannot control, things that haven't happened, things I don't know that will happen, etc, etc. Everything is changing, and I've always thought I welcome change well. I thought all of these little things would give me some purpose in the month, and they did, until this shook things up much more. This is the face of someone collecting their thoughts. I've been really good about recording mine throughout the month as well. Affirmations, prayers, journals, you name it. It's all good to have. Taking action to document the moment, to remember something, or to contribute to it later. So, today the 
happiness challenge task is to help someone. This is actually like after the fact that I was supposed to do that day because I've been behind on some of the days. There's been a lot going on in the world and I've just been sort of like doing some research and searching the web in regards to George Floyd and there's a lot of stuff in the news about it right now and since I haven't really been able to have a ton of one-on-one -on -one contact with someone to like help people and I know there's like a lot of different ways that you can help people but I haven't really been active in doing that like just in general like I don't make masks or anything like for the pandemic which praise everyone who does that honestly we're very fortunate that for this part of the video I will be signing the petition support of George Floyd and the BLM. I found this Google Doc on Twitter, actually. We have such good people in the world who are putting things together like this, and it just makes me want to be more socially responsible, too. I've just got to be transparent about that. I feel like it is my role to take some sort of action, like when it's presented to me in this way. Like, you can literally do this, and it's simple. So I'm texting Florida 55156 to sign the petition. I'm doing that right now. Honestly, I think this needs more. 1 million actions taken, 90% of our goal of 1.1 million. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. So, that's so cool, actually. I mean, oh, look. To me, this was just a no-brainer. And I think talking about it here is also a no-brainer. Sign the petition. I signed it. Here we go. I'll share this to Facebook too. Ooh, Twitter. Let's do it. Yeah, this is not the content that is typically on my channel. Obviously, um, I'm, I'm, I like to be happy, and I don't necessarily like to focus on really heavy things but this is I feel like important I've been like at a loss for a couple of days just like about so many things in my life my place where I fit in all of this there to be very overwhelming finding myself to be very anxious if I can do this action and know that I'm helping in some way, like at least to get to their goal. Like that is, that's what I want to do. And that's, so I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm still going to be looking into the rest of this subject matter some more. Um, but yeah. To feel out of place for days, many of us having been in our homes for weeks and months, I welcome this change, to be out of a comfort zone. For all of us in our new beginnings, I welcome change in the sense that with each day there's a new opportunity to be better, to listen better, to do better, and I hope we can find the courage to do so.